We're following developing news in Providence. Police were giving an update on a deadly shooting when they announced yet another deadly shooting. The most recent one happening overnight on Indiana Avenue. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt is live at police headquarters with the multiple investigations now underway tonight. Brandon. Well, Kim and Shannon, police in Providence admit that they are seeing an uptick in deadly crime. Compare it to last year at this time, the city was reporting one homicide. So far this year, seven people have died to gun violence. It was late Thursday evening when Providence police got the call. A man had been shot in the chest, an apparent drug deal gone wrong. Hopefully somebody had seen something in the area. Uh, they'll come forward. Uh, with anything that they saw. Police say it was 31 year old Nicholas DePani fatally shot and killed. Our cameras catching police towing away a car they say is involved. There is some type, type of evidence, but we're not going to get into any of that. It was at Friday's news conference when police revealed a man shot last week has died. Police say 27 year old Brandon McKinney was shot on Hawkins Street on April 15th. Our cameras were there when police were working that scene. McKinney died from his injuries on Wednesday. We know what our problems are here and we are we are definitely dealing with, with them. Providence police say they are aware of the uptick in deadly crime. They say increased gun sales during the pandemic is fueling the problem. There's guns on the street. We know that and uh, we are stepping up with, with our, our work to try and, and take as many off the street as possible. And Friday they brought the numbers to back it up. This year, Providence police say they've seized 72 guns. That number was 20 this time last year. This year's total includes two AR-15s picked up just last week. We're just doing the best we can with what we have. In the meantime, Providence police have seven open homicide investigations from this year alone. Each shooting said to be targeted. And police say they don't appear to be connected. So far, no arrests have been made in last night's shooting, although police say there are witnesses cooperating with them. Live in Providence, Brandon Truitt, 12 News. Well, we are not even five full months into 2021, but Providence has already had more than a half a dozen homicides this year. The latest just night on Indiana Avenue, and today police announced a man who was shot on Hawkins Street last week has died. Police also revealed today that they've seized more than three times the number of guns than they had this time last year. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt joining us from the Providence Public Safety Complex with updates on the investigations. Well, we were headed into a police headquarters for an update on the sixth homicide of the year when we were informed of a seventh. It gives you a sense of how quickly things are changing here. The big question for so many tonight, what is going on? We know what our problems are here and we are we are definitely dealing with, with them. Providence police facing the facts. Homicides are up compared to this time last year. We're just doing the best we can with what we have. There have been seven homicides in the capital city this year. Police say each of them are targeted. The most recent happening Thursday night on Indiana Avenue in the Washington Park area of the city. 12 news cameras catching police on scene, blocking off the road where police say 31 year old Nicholas Depani was fatally shot in the chest. It was uh, some kind of an argument outside a vehicle on Indiana Avenue just before the shooting. Um, as the major said, uh, we believe there was some low-level drug transaction taking place. Police towed away that car for processing. Late Friday, investigators were seen back on Indiana Avenue going door to door, talking to neighbors. But during Friday's news conference, Providence Police announcing a man shot last week has now died. Police say 27-year-old Brandon McKinney was shot on April 15th on Hawkins Street. He died from his injuries on Wednesday. It's the seventh open homicide investigation police are currently working. We are making uh, some progress with with them. Police say more guns were purchased last year and they're seizing more than they have before as the investigations into each of these cases move forward. For context, this time last year, Providence was reporting one homicide. The city points out that was in the middle of the pandemic. They credit that for really lowering gun violence in the city last spring. In Providence, Brandon Truett, 12 News.